Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 4 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. What in the hell? Good mother Moses of Pearl. Double follow wolf pack muskies out here, dude. They're probably all big. See, this is why I can't go trout fishing because they shit like this. I mean, I. Oh man, she's not hooked well, Mike. Oh, oh, she is not hooked well. Oh, I hope I can keep her hooked, man. I hope I can keep her hooked. She not hooked well. Oh, boy. Uh, all right. Nice, baby. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why I can't go trout fishing. <laughs> And that is why I can't go trout fishing. Dude. <laughs> oh, it's a nice one, dude. And belly on that one. They're so good. Dude, and that's why I can't go trout fishing. <laughs> and that is why I cannot go trout fishing. Is my hat cam still rolling? Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> uh, we see you. Yeah. And that is why I cannot. Let's go trout fishing. Oh, guys, everybody's got their sport, and this is why mine is musky fishing. Wow, the adrenaline pump of a figure eight battle is unbelievable. Grape Flame 500 scores again, sunset. Wow, that's incredible. We'll get her back, we'll fill you in on all the details. All right, guys, welcome back to yet another musky hunt with Mike Richardson, the one and only dude. This is this is getting out of hand. I'm speechless, man. I, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like the pattern that we have dialed in is nuts. Yes, and it's it's what, what I guess what, what is speechless right now, guys and gals out there. And, and some of you have experienced this, but when you do, it really is. I don't care how long you've been doing this. We've been doing this a long time. We have a wolf pack of muskies right now, and uh, in total, I believe, if, I mean, on the uh, non-conservative side, we have possibly seen up to, and this includes the muskies we've caught now, eight different fish on a very, very small stretch of water here. Yeah. Eight muskies. And the muskie that you just saw me catch in the figure eight, uh, which was uh, just came out of nowhere, it's a blind strike, which we're gonna talk about in another episode coming up here, is, we at, Mike and I pull up to this spot where you you caught a tank mm -hmm. earlier this afternoon. Mike caught this monster muskie, and we we looked down kind of after he released the fish, and we saw another one. And I'm like, maybe that's your fish, and it wasn't because she came after. I forget if she I think she came after your grape flame. Mm -hmm. So we swap we switch lures sometimes when we catch fish. So anyway, the moral of the story is we came back to this spot right when we show up. I don't think we took a cast maybe, and we see double muskies on side imaging two there's one on port and one on starboard we both look at each other we're like what and we're like well okay what do we do so i take a cast over there mike i think you were switching lures i we were switching gonna, lures yeah mike's changing up baits because we're you know we're going to try some cast backs and one of those two comes up and just hammers grape flame in the eight so what's the takeaway on a fish like this what's the you know because we've we've talked about figure eight stuff and we're going to continue to cover that mm -hmm. but here's here's the big takeaway guys when you catch a muskie, even if it's just one muskie. Mike caught this beautiful muskie 
I mean, what is it? It's 8.30 right now. Mike caught that muskie, what, at 3 p.m.? Yeah. Give or take. We caught that muskie a long time ago. We came back to this spot, and there's more muskies here. Mm -hmm. So again, the learning moment is, when you catch a muskie in a certain spot, always return to that spot, if you can, during your time on the water. If you've got four hours, you better hit that spot at least, you know, two times. If you've got an entire day, you, depending on how big your system is, you may want to fish that spot, you know, every couple hours, every two hours. Stop in there, check it for 10 minutes, and get out. Yep. And that's the reason we caught that muskie. I just, I just I got on, on great flame there. It's because we went back and checked it. And uh, we do this all the time. This is not just a one-time thing. And guess what? There's like, at least it happened again. We're going to talk to you guys in a, in a later segment on, on a muskie Mike just caught. It was another twin. Another twin. So there's two sets of twins out here. Um, Mike caught the one. I had the other one in the figure eight. It's, it's just crazy. So the whole, the whole thing is always revisit proven spots. You have to. Mm -hmm. So, wow. A couple of things on equipment real quick. This is the 981 steel leader by JBO. It's just the old no BS system. Great flame 500 booger tail tinsel. You guys probably haven't seen that on the channel, uh, but you know, that's, that's the lure. I guess they eat that every once in a while. I mean, it, it's small ones. Yeah, yeah, small ones, big ones. Big ones. Some as you know, as big as yeah, I don't know. Some as big as we've seen in Wisconsin. Eighty pound test beast braid, Legend Elite nine O MHF. Uh, this is the bucktail setup we're using, and um, dude, we gotta get back at it. Yeah, we gotta get back at it. We've got we've got like six other muskies out here. We need to catch. <laughs> well, guys, with that, uh, we can't thank you guys enough for all of your support. And as always, thanks for watching. You're watching Season 4 of Muskie Mastery Outdoors. Be sure to tune in next week for more exciting and educational muskie and multi-species action.